Hey, good Friday morning. Yeah, Friday morning, and um, it's it's a cold morning out there, so if you need to get out, make sure you uh, bundle up today. If you're going to be in town Sunday morning, I invite you to St. Luke's Amphitheater, and um, we're going to begin music at 945, 1030 is going to be the message. Again, we're outdoors, so if you want to stay in your vehicle, you can tune to 100.7 FM, or you can um, stay home and watch us on Facebook Live, St. Luke's Church Facebook page. Everyone's welcome. Perfection not required. So how's everyone doing? I mean, seriously, we, we are in the midst of a pandemic and, and I know the, the vaccine has, has come out yesterday. I think the second vaccine has been approved by the FDA. And, you know, to me, that's a miracle. That's a miracle of how fast everything worked because it was the world working together. And I think this pandemic has showed us that what what can happen when everyone lays down their weapons and they begin to work together for the common good. And to me, that's just an amazing thing. Because when we help one another and we do what Jesus told us to do, not only can we help and solve pandemics, but we can help and and solve the problems in our communities. We can do what we can to let the light of Christ shine through us. And, uh, and that's what I hope and pray for all of us this weekend. And as we get closer and closer to Christmas, I, I love I loved to watch kids whenever, you know, this time of year comes. Because it reminds me of when I was a kid and probably when you were a kid, too. Do you remember? I, 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 let me tell you, when, when that Sears wish book came, when that Sears wish book came, that was the signal to me that Christmas was coming, that Christmas was here, that you better get ready. You better find those toys. You better find those games. You better find those sporting goods. You better mark the pages. You better circle. And you better make sure that you lay that wish book somewhere where your mom will see it. But, you know, you often didn't think as a kid, you didn't think about your your mom or your dad or, you know, what, what they were struggling with. Because this two days ago, Wednesday, I had a father reach out to me and and he was asking me, you know, hey, Pastor Bill, I need help. He said, I, I really do. I need help. I don't ask for help. I, I never, ever ask for help. I don't want help. But he said, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. That's what's going on. And he said, ever since 2016, my health insurance has gone up. It's gone up. He said, it's it's doubled my house payment. Seriously, he said, that's how expensive it is. And he said, every year it got a little bit more expensive. And he said, prior to 2016, I had great health insurance. I, I was able to afford it. I had low deductibles. Now, he said, the health insurance is sky high and my deductibles are sky high. And he said, I'm, I'm paying my house payments. I'm paying my car payment. And I'm doing everything I can to make sure that my kids have a roof over their head. But he said, with everything that I'm dealing with, I can't get my son a game that he wants for Christmas. And he said, I am embarrassed by it. He said, I'm not one of these parents that go out and, you know, when we go to the store, get them. If they see a toy, they want it, they get it. No, he said, I'm not that father. I'm not that parent. And he said, you know, I'll let them look at toys. But other than that, that's all. Those toys stay in the store because I don't have extra money to buy frivolous junk. That's what his words were. But he said at Christmas time, I try to get them at least one thing that they really want for Christmas. He has three kids. But he said his oldest son is asking for an expensive video game system. I can't afford it. He said, now, if I skipped a house payment, I could, but I can't skip a house payment. If I skipped a car payment, I could, but I can't skip a car payment. I went to several agencies earlier in the week. This was what the father said. And he said, I sat down and talked to people and they told me, because you're buying your house, you don't qualify. Or because you make over a certain income level, you don't qualify. And he said, I hear about all this free stuff, but he said, I am a working man and I can't afford to give my kids Christmas. 
And why am I sharing this with you? Because there are parents like that in every community. And they're watching the excitement on the face of their kids as as Christmas time gets closer. They watch the kids when the commercials come on TV and they see the face light up and they hear the excitement in their voice when when the kids are trying to hint to mom or dad or grandma or grandpa that right there, that's the one I'm talking about. But at the same time, there's a parent on the other side of the room with a big smile on their face, but with a broken heart right here. And why am I sharing that with you? Again, because there are people like this in every community. We've already handed out our angel tree gifts here in Ritchie County. There was no income guidelines. It was just, if you had a need, come. Now, I'm helping this father right now. But I invite you to do what you can, if you're able to. Help those in your community. Because they're trying their best. And this father said, I never ever thought that I would be the working poor. And he said, I'm embarrassed to say that I am. Friends, let's pray for them. Let's do what we can to open our hearts. And let's do what we can to try to help the kids in all of our communities to have a good Christmas. But more important, let's try to point the parents, the grandparents, to the greatest gift of all, the gift of Jesus. Hey, this is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're warm. And um, wherever you are, I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. And I hope you're safe. Again, have a great weekend. And God bless each and every one of you.